final poll heading into today's vote shows Donald Trump maintaining his strong lead and perhaps a late surge to Jeb Bush at 31 percent. The Emerson College poll shows Trump at 15 points, 15 points ahead of Jeb Bush, now in second at 16 percent, while John Kasich is third at 13 percent, Marco Rubio fourth at 12 percent, Ted Cruz at 11 percent, Carly Fiorina at seven, Chris Christie at six. The poll shows up and up and down week for Donald Trump, falling from 37 percent on Thursday to 22 percent on Saturday, yet bouncing back to 33 percent on Sunday. That's after the debate. It's also a slow climb for Jeb Bush at just 12 percent on Thursday, climbing to 19 percent on Saturday and 21 percent look, 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 look at those numbers. What do you call that? Big Mo. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, this while Rubio fell from a high of 17 on Friday before the debate to single digits on Sunday after the debate. Bush now has the highest favorability of the Republican with a net positive rating of 17 percent. And Trump also. Okay, hold on a second. This, this, we got to stop here. Uh, Mark Alperin, how stunning it is. Go back to the favorability. First of all, you can see clear trend lines. Jeb Bush going from the low teens into the 20s over the course of four days. Donald Trump up, down, and back up. Marco Rubio down to single digits. But the most surprising number right there, top line, a man who has had the lowest favorability ratings throughout most of the campaign among Republicans now in first place. If there was one line that jumped out at me yesterday and shocked me, and maybe suggested uh, something that might be a big surprise. It's that top line right there. Guy said months ago he was the joyous tortoise and that he would slowly come back here, and he has. <clears throat> and, you know, Donald Trump continues to attack Jeb Bush. Maybe he's doing it because he doesn't like him. Maybe he's doing it because he gets good last for it. But maybe he's doing it because he recognizes if Jeb Bush finishes second tonight, imagine the donations to his super PAC. Yeah. Imagine his ability to have a comeback story that will position him in South Carolina where he has some strength to be a finalist in this contest after being written off by many people. It, it would be a huge comeback and, and the fact that he's brought his favorability back is enormous. You know, John, let me ask you, the candidate that I saw Sunday, Jeb Bush in, uh, in John Nashua. Bush? No. Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush in, in Nashua. John Ellis Bush, Bush, okay. Yeah. Can he not get Sunday was a different percent. candidate than the one I saw in Iowa. At, uh, a week and a half earlier. It seems that he's a free man now, that he's peeled off the layers of bureaucracy in his campaign or the countervailing arguments that he's getting within his yeah. campaign, but he is a free man and he's a different candidate. The, can the candidate who has, who is written off as dead, um, and is you know, considered written out, everybody can, says he can't come back, is completely over. And I'm one of the people who said that I thought Jeb was dead months ago. That candidate can be a dangerous candidate, you know, the candidate who just free, liberated, out to say how he feels, talk about the stuff he wants to talk about. He's gone after Trump more strongly than any other candidate in the field. Um, and I think he, I, I, late, very close, maybe too late, who knows, but certainly late, he sort of found his voice. And, you know, he is in a great position in this respect. If John Kasich and Jeb Bush are the establishment stories tonight, Jeb Bush is in such a better position in South Carolina than John Kasich All that right. the Jeb people are, will be thrilled, even if they come in third, if they're behind Kasich, they're so much stronger in South Carolina. Start to come in again. Let's